We're at Arari today, just having a look through this trial. It's December 2021. Uh, this trial was drilled in early May 21. Uh, paddock of wheat following a turf ryegrass seed crop. As well as the, the ryegrass in terms of grass weeds, we've got a significant amount of hair grass as well as some brome species. This paddock's had a known uh, history of grass weeds, so paddock preparation is quite critical to, um, to managing those before the pre-emergent herbicides are applied. And a big part of that is sort of maintaining shallow cultivation, so not burying weed seeds to any great depth. And this allows the pre-emergent herbicides to work best. Yeah, certainly the, the Sakura, one of the things we've seen at this site is uh, its broad spectrum in terms of grass weeds. Um, not only the ryegrass, but um, also seeing some really good results on, on the hair grass and, and the brome species. The bromes being particularly tougher grasses to control um, certainly show the importance of a, a full herbicide program. Certainly with, this, with the issues with uh, herbicide resistance, it's gone to, um, gone to emphasise the importance of pre-emergent herbicides and, and Sakura is a, um, a critical component of that. It's a, uh, a different mode of action to those, um, those herbicides that we do have resistance to and has a, has a broad spectrum of grass weeds. So it's really become the, the cornerstone of grass weed control in, in wheat crops. So in this particular trial, the best treatments had a combination of pre-emergent herbicides, that includes Avidex Extra, applied pre-sowing and incorporated, and then Sakura as a post-sow pre-emergent product, and then uh, following up later on with a, uh, a post-emergent product like Othello. Grass weeds are highly competitive and detrimental to, to yields and cereal crops. It's really important to control these weeds early and put your best foot forward in terms of available herbicide options.